Hello students, uh, welcome to another math lesson with uh, Bakker. So, today we will be talking about factorizing. Now, when it comes to factorizing, there are three main topics. Firstly, there is difference of squares. And then there are quadratics and trinomials. And then lastly, there is common differences. So, now that you know the three main topics of uh, factorizing, we will be talking about quadratics and trinomials today. So, the main simple rule is that the first number needs to have an x squared at the end and then a plus or minus. Then the second number needs to have an x and then a plus or minus. And then the third number is just a number. So we will be using this equation that my friend gave me that is x squared plus 9x plus 18. So there's no number before the x squared. What could we do in this situation? So if there's no number, then we can just turn that into a 1x squared and then continue on with the rest of the equation like normal. So we take the 1x and then the 18 and then we collect multiples after opening two brackets. So we take all the possible multiples from 1, and we take all the possible multiples from 18, which are 18 and 1, 9 and 2, 6 and 3. Now, our goal is to get the middle number, which is number 9, by multiplying these two multiples. So we're going to start with 1 and 18. So 1 times 18 is 18, and then moving on, 1 times 1 is 1. So can we get the number 9 using these two numbers? No. So moving on to the next multiple, which is 9 and 2. So there we go. No, 1 times 1 is 9, and then 1 times 2 is 2. So can we get the number 9 from these two numbers? No. So moving on to the last multiple, which is 6 and 3. So we go ahead and type these in so we can multiply them. And then 1 times 6, 1 times 3. So 1 times 6 is 6, and then 1 times 3 is 3. So can we get the number 9 from this? Yes. So these are the multiples that we need for the equation. If you want to know how you get number 3, it's 6 plus 3 equals 9. So that's how you get the middle number, which is 9. So we go back to our equation, and then we rewrite it down. So since 1 is getting multiplied by 6, we use the opposite number, which is 3. So we go ahead and put 1 in the bracket and then put 3 in the bracket as well. Then we move on. So since 1 is being multiplied by 3, we put 6, which is the opposite. So now that we have it, we take the plus since these are positive numbers and put it in between the x and the 3 and the x and the 6. So congratulations. You just did quadratics. Now let's do a second example involving subtraction. So x squared minus 7x plus 12. So we are actually trying to get negative 7 this time. So we're going to go ahead and open up our two brackets. Then the, since we have x squared, we're just going to turn that into a 1x squared since it can't stay blank. So we're going to collect the multiples of 1. Then we're going to collect the multiples of 12. So there's 12 and 1, 6 and 2, and 4 and 3. Then we're going to start multiplying these two multiples until we can make the number 7 out of it. So 1 times 12 is 12, and then 1 times 1 is 1. So can we make the number negative 7 out of these two? No. So moving on to the next multiples. So 1 and 1, and then 6 and 2. So 1 times 6 and 1 times 2. 1 times 6 is 6, and then 1 times 2 is 2. So can we make the number nine negative 7 out of this? No, we cannot. So moving on to the last and final multiple, which is 4 and 3. So we go ahead and write those down. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 3 is 3. So can we make the number negative 7 out of this? Yes. So moving on, now that we have the multiples, we converted it from that to this. Now, if you're wondering how we got the number negative 7, we just simply convert the 4 and 3 into negative. So it's negative 4 minus negative 3, which will give us negative 7. There we go. So then we go ahead and write down our, how we got those multiples. So since 1 is being multiplied by 4, we're going to use number 3 since it's the opposite. So 1 time one x minus uh, f negative 4, negative 3, my bad. Since so. Uh, 1x cannot be multiplied but yeah so you're just going to go ahead and put the opposite and there you go that's your equation so congratulations you just finished quadratics